scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up, guys? The Panthers here, and welcome to a video game update for FIFA 15, first of all, but also some interesting thoughts, feedbacks, news, theories, and debate about what tonight's update could possibly be. First of all, on the forums, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, there is a title update. They're updating some things like added the MLS expansion teams uh, to the rest of the World League. They've improved stability to the ESFC match day challenges, etc., etc. You can read all that for yourself. Some nice little uh, minor updates there. Then at the bottom of the page, it says, furthermore, there will be a maintenance period this evening as we prepare for an important change coming to FIFA Ultimate Team. An important change coming to FIFA Ultimate Team. We'll provide further details on maintenance timing on Twitter and Facebook. Like I said, if you want to read that, link will be in the description below. So off the back of that, the forums, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube comments, it has been blowing up with, oh my God, what's happening? So guys, I have compiled, after reading pages and pages and pages of information, my top 10 things of what it could and or couldn't be. And that's what we're gonna go through here today. So before we get into this, if we could smash a thumbs up on the video, that'd be absolutely awesome. Um, I will make a video later on this evening as well as per what it actually is. Um, but let me get into my list. So first of all, guys, we've got the removing the transfer market. Some people think that EA are just gonna flat out remove the transfer market. It will not happen. I've given this a one out of 10 chance of happening. Um, probably even a one out of a billion chance of happening. If EA removed the transfer market, good night FIFA Ultimate Team. They will lose unbelievable amounts of money and unbelievable amounts of playership. So the amount of people that actually play the game, people will just stop playing the game without the market. That's what it's there for. It's, it's he so helpful to play the game. Next on the list, guys, we've got separating the transfer markets. This is one that has been talked about hugely. I've given this a seven out of 10 rating because it, it's actually uh, logically respectable actually um, and what I mean by separating the transfer markets is no longer will the PS3 and the PS4 share the same market and the same for the Xbox and the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One you'll get a met potentially again I'm, this is not confirmed this is just me picking up ideas off the threads off the forums um, potentially you get a one chance one time transfer to decide whether you want to go PS3 or PS4 Xbox One or Xbox 360, so you take all your coins with you to that console. And uh, the reason why this could be helpful is because most of the glitches within the game are done on old gen consoles. So instantly, if you separate the markets, new gen market becomes fair, incredible. The coin glitches are no longer an issue. You, it, it would allow the web app the, and the companion app for new gen specific players, again, to be up, and it would help EA drive customers from old gen to new gen, which is something they desperately want, which is why they don't really give a damn about the features such as player instructions and pro clubs on old gen, is because they want to drive people to new gen. So for me, that's actually got a really good chance of happening. Next up, guys, something that's been mentioned is that they are adding trade offers into the game or potentially a trade block within the transfer market, which is something you'll see on Madden Ultimate Team and on some of the other uh, like NBA games, etc., etc. Again, I don't think this is going to happen. Trade offers were removed for a reason. It's a very, very easy, secretive way to move huge amounts of coins through players themselves, through accounts, escaping bans and buying coins. It, you know, like if, if you think of a workflow, you have a holding account of say 100 million coins, you go and buy 10 Cristiano Ronaldo's with that, you then trade off of those 10 Cristiano Ronaldo's to a second account and then to a third account, so you're losing no tax on these. You then finally trade them through to a fourth account. The workflow has had four accounts, you could sell those Cristiano Ronaldo's next to untraceable, very difficult to, to judge whether this person's bought the coins, whether they've got given a Ronaldo from a giveaway. Not really something that I think EA are gonna bring back. Would love to see it back, Maybe they should add trades back in where you can only trade with people you've been friends with for seven days or 10 days or 20 days or something, you know? Would be pretty interesting, but I don't think that's gonna be what we're gonna be seeing this evening. Next on the list, guys, is something that I definitely don't know don't know what has been talked about, and that is generations being, being playable, basically. If you don't know what generations is, there is a generations tab on the web app. It's been there for a long time and it's never ever been used. Uh, it's always been grayed out, it's never been clickable. I don't know why it's there. Um, 
they're not adding generations back into the game anytime soon. That won't be what you're seeing tonight. I've given that a one out of 10 chance of happening. Next, we've got the web app and companion app coming back and being tradable. Again, it's not really something I see happening right now um, until they figure out a way to control the market. Uh, which is what I do think will happen this evening at some some point. I do think they'll find a way to control the market, uh, or at least a little bit better. Um, they're not going to bring those two back because as soon as those two come back, auto buyers and glitches and bots are going to be running riot. It's going to fuck everything up again. And whatever they do do this evening or have done to the web app and the glitches will just be undone in a heartbeat if they bring those back straight away. Next up, guys, we have got a price cap on players. Now, this has got, for me as well, very similar to this, the separating the transfer markets, a 7 out of 10 rating, in my opinion. Uh, the reason being, for the forums, there's a huge thread talking about what can happen tonight. And a lot of the posts say that apparently Rob Hodson previously had made a thread in the forums talking about price caps on players and then swiftly deleted the thread shortly afterwards. So people are thinking, is this what it's gonna be? Again, it would make sense. It wouldn't be impossible for coin sites to work around, um, but it most definitely would be a huge hindrance for them. It would slow the coin market down hugely. It would be a massive inconvenience for the coin sites. They would have to, especially the fact that there is no web app, there is no trading on the companion app. They have to do it all manually. Uh, it, would, it would cost them so much more manpower. It would really grind down the coin selling website side of things. Um, and I think is again, you know, the second or the the joint first most likely thing that's going to happen this evening. Um, what they'll do is something similar to, you know, you can buy a player for a hundred thousand coins or like the average price of a player uh, plus ten percent or twenty percent, and that's all you can sell them for. Or they might put a cap on a player. So for for example, Gareth Bale might be capped at two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand. Um, this, in my opinion, is going to cause a huge market crash today if this is what it is because you might be losing out on millions of coins for your players. So as a word of warning, um, sell right now. Sell every player that you've got that's valuable to you that you want the coin value for. I suggest you sell them now just in case this is what it is. Of course, I could be wrong and you, I could cost you millions. I'm just going to say that right now. If I am wrong and it's not this, not that I'm saying it is this, like I said, this is just theories and ideas. Um, you, like you might sell all your players now, the market's gonna crash, you, you know, you're gonna lose out on some coins. Um, it's whether or not you decide that it's worth the risk or whether I'm right or not. If you think that I'm talking out my ass with this and don't think it's gonna be what's happening, don't sell your players. If you're sitting there thinking, holy shit, if that did happen, I bought Ronaldo for 12 million, what if he gets capped at 3 million? You've lost out on 9 million coins. Um, so I don't really know how it's going to work. I don't know how the feature itself is going to work. Um, but if you do want to save yourself uh, potential embarrassment of overpaying massively on players that they're now going to cap, then definitely get yourself uh, some some sale fingers on and go through and get rid of all, all your worthy players, I would say. Next on the list, guys, we've got FUT changing to a World Cup style game mode. Um, if you remember the World Cup style game mode, guys, basically there was no transfer market. You buy packs only. You get untradeable players only. Um, and it was a good gimmicky feature for a short period of time, but has no longevity in it. And again, really reduces the impact of EA's money making. Um, you know, let's not be silly about things. Whilst the coin sponsor and the coin sites are a hindrance to EA, they still got to make money. You know, they're still a business. They still want to make as much money as they can off of you guys. And by putting a World Cup style game mode in, you got no chance of them making nearly as much money as they currently are. So I don't really think that's gonna happen. Um, if it did, again, it would ruin FUT, in my opinion. The transfer market is such a huge point, a huge part, and, and a very valuable asset to FIFA Ultimate Team that I can't see them ever really removing that. Three more things to go, guys. We've got next up, uh, removing player names on the market. Again, this is something that could help with uh, coin sponsors and, and coin coin buyers and coin sellers uh, just by making it a little bit more difficult to find the player. Not really something I think EA are interested in because there are several other ways that you can find the player um, and and with auto buyers etc it's it would be very easy to get the player removing just the name would be largely illogical it would just be a minor minor hindrance to a coin guy but wouldn't actually do anything to solve the problems um, which is why i don't think it's personally going to happen we also have a cap on the daily match coins to prevent the mat to prevent the match glitch if you guys don't know where most of these coins come from is actually a match glitch on pc and old gen consoles um, basically what happens is they go into a game it 
immediately makes them win the game. They get the prize for winning the game. Also the division one prize for winning the game of 15,000 coins. And they can generate this thousands of times per hour or per day picking up you know millions of coins per day in no time at all if you hit a match coin um a cap for match coins let's say you can earn maximum of twenty five thousand coins a day playing matches i think that's realistic um i don't think anyone especially when you're only winning like 600 800 coins a game you know you're looking at playing 40 or 50 games it's not impossible but if anyone does play fifa to that extent they would understand why the match glitch cap would be in there maybe to 30,000, 35,000, 40,000, just like basically pick a number that would be humanly possible, but inhumanly impossible. So 50,000 coins, humanly, you're, you're, you could possibly get there, very unlikely. The only people that could get over 50,000 coins would be bots, cheaters and glitchers. So just cap it at 50,000 coins. I, I think it's something that should be in the game. I don't think it's something that's gonna be put in the game today as the important update. Last but not least, guys, I've got my uh, third most favorite thing of the whole list, and that is that literally nothing changes. Um, poss possibly this huge update is gonna be like, we fixed the bug to keepers, or matchmaking has changed, or you know, a, a number of other things, like we've got dedicated servers, a number of other things that it could be that is nothing to do with the market, could be what it is today. What I want you guys to do guys is put in the comment section below what you think the change is gonna be and what you would like the change to be. So two different things there. Put what you think it's gonna be and put what you would like it to be in the comment section below. This is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.